Hello folks, Ron Howard, Extreme Sequences. Guess what I got in front of me? <laughs> That's right, Falcon Pie Player. And it's been about a week or so, maybe a week and a half before I had Dan Culp's uh, board set to me. And that board happens to be this little bad boy right here. I got some shadow here. You can see the pocket beagle on top there. You can see, let me see if I can turn this around here. Look at that. It took about, I don't know, by the time I hooked up a uh, power to this little mean whale guy here and got it into this, plugged it in, I don't know, 30 seconds, I was up and running pretty fast. Uh, you can see that pocket beagle working there. And I ordered this little guy here, this uh, converter to go from uh, USB. And uh, I just ran, uh, the, um, now I, I would run thicker gauge between this and the power supply, but I just wanted to do this very quickly. I just ran some 18 gauge and I plugged it in and that's that. And I set it up here using, let me see if this will let me do it. Let me see, let me see, input, output, channel outputs. I just threw some universes at it and it does turn it off, okay. I threw eight universes at it, I just kept them at 512 for testing. Then I go to my BB string, BBB strings, I turn the cape on, I put it to eight serial, because that's what it's got. And I told it test string, 800. Sadie, wait your turn, okay. And then I come over here, I go to my test, and let's just put it on RGBW first, and we'll turn on the test. And here we go. 800 pixels coming from one port on, I suppose you want to see what's on the inside of this, huh? Okay, I get it, I get it. Yep, the 350 watt mean well, 12 volt power supply, and the whiteboard there, which is a Falcon receiver and a Terminator. Now, I think I had heard from David Spaulding that uh, you can only get so many pixels on a smart receiver output uh, and maybe that's only when you're sending FSEQ files. I don't know, but I'm running 800 here. Uh, I would never run 800 pixels out of a board for a real application. Um, 640, I'm doing that with two props now, and I don't have a problem with that at 30%. These are at 20%. I can bump these up. That's not a problem. You want to see what they look like at 40%? Not a problem. We'll just go in here, get rid of that. We'll go over here, channel outputs. We will go over to our BBB strings and let's just take these to 40%. We'll save that. Restart FPPD. Then we will go back over here to our status control, test settings, and we'll put it back on the RGB and test. And now we can see these are testing. And I suppose it might make sense, let me turn this light off here, because I know what you're thinking, I know, I know, I know, I'm going to turn this light off too, that 800, you're probably going to have some flicker. Well, not with just the RGB, uh, I'm not really seeing anything here at 40%. But naturally, when we bring white into it, I'll change this to cycle RGB all. And now we're going to see white introduced. And you can see, yeah, it's, it's going to fall off at the end. And I, it should. I mean, there's, <laughs> there is a voltage drop. There's data drop. I mean, this, these things are going to happen. Sadie, what do you think? It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. These are 12 volt um, pixels. <laughs> And these are great. No issues. So again, I'm not advocating that you throw 800 or 1,000 pixels without power injection to some degree. And it's all based on how close is your pigtail to the first pixel. From this board, I always put these guys as close as I can to the pixel run. And then I feel a lot more confident about running more pixels together and not worrying about data degradation. Or voltage lost, 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 which is just a part of it. All right, if you look at the shadows there under the white, uh, we'll even take this over to a fill. Oh, the dreaded white fill. Well, that's pretty evident right there at 40%. You can see these guys here are not keeping up. Nope, 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 nope. 
And it depends on your spacing. If I were going with a one inch spacing on my eaves, I would not be running it like that. I would do something like this. And again, not saying I'm gonna run 800 off of one output, but I would have these at 10%. Oh, you can go down to 5%. 5% increments? I didn't know it'd do that. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna put this at 10%. I'm gonna save this. And let's look at the difference at 10% output with 800 pixels coming out. Status control, test. Let's go over here to our fill. We'll leave that on white and test. It's a lot more even, except, you know, there ain't no doubt this first string here is brighter than these. That's just science. That's just science. That's what that is. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's be realistic here. Let's go to channel outputs. Let's take this down to, let's cut it in half. Let's do 400. And let's save that. Restart FPPD. Yes, 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 yes. Status control. Testing whenever you're ready. And now let's go to our fill white. There we go. That's a little more like it, I think. Not bad, not bad. And that's 400. Um, if I were going to run my verts and eaves, uh, I don't know that I would go over this. What is this thing? I've noticed a few of these, like imperfect uh, little little divots. You can't see it, it's just too bright. Anyway, some of the molding process on some of these pixels here, the domes look funky. But that doesn't look bad, doesn't look bad. I could work with that. Again, uh, in my world, I don't do a lot of full white. I do a lot of this. And with red, green, and blue, and all those other combinations, I'd feel fine doing this all day long. And then I'd feel good about going back to my channel outputs and changing the BB, str BB, BB strings back up here. Let's just go 40%. Let's save that. Da -da -da. Restarting. Status control. Display testing. Let's hope that catches. I think it should. I'm going to go back here to my RGB, or RGB, and you can see now they're a lot hotter, and that looks really good to me. If we introduce in that uh, RGB all, now we'll get an idea of the white mixed in. Looks pretty good to me, and that's 400 pixels. Again, the key is how close are you from that first pixel to the board. The closer, the better. Gotta go. Hope that was helpful. See ya.